Google Wave was built entirely in Sydney, Australia. This is how computers look when email was invented. These are a few of the thousands of communication tools that were invented after that inspired us to build Google Wave. In email, you send individual messages, you write individual messages, and you send them to individual contributors, sorry, recipients. A wave is a single shared object. It's halfway between a document and a conversation. All participating users can manipulate this, the, the wave at the same time, as I will now show you how to use a wave to construct a much, much too short demo script. <laughs> can everyone just give my lovely colleague Stephanie Hanches in the audience here? And Uh, uh, wave with her when she was offline and goes, hey Steph, help Seth, this SAP only gave us six minutes, what are we going to do? Stephanie's now going to come online and say some soothing words. <laughs> Don't panic, she says. As you can see, you can do both email type conversations when people are offline and instant messaging type conversations in the same tool. And I will say, but, 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 but. As you can see, I can't spell. That's okay. Notice I can see what Stephanie's typing character by character it speeds up the conversation because in general you can predict how I'm going to end the sentence when I'm halfway through it. It'll be fine. CNN.com called you a genius. Oh, wow, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Now, Stephanie can put a message anywhere in the, uh, in, in the wave. In fact, she can put it inside the interior of one of the messages. <laughs> Should have gotten that. Oh. Word, yes. There is Stephanie is putting a message inside of my message here. We call this an inline reply. We let people go back and, um, uh, and edit their own messages. In fact, we can edit each other's messages. I'm going to show that real quick now with all of us going and editing this message here at the top. I'm going to add Alex to my right here like this. Let's go and start a script. Start, panic, wave, reply chat, and so on. Here we can see the three of us editing the same message at the same time. It randomly speeds up writing a demo script. Chat, add Alex. What else are we going to do? What else are we going to do? We're going to add some pictures. Let me add some pictures. Playback. Here, I have some entirely uh, irrelevant photos sitting here and see how easy it is to add them to a wave with drag and drop. Did I mention, <laughs> did I mention that we built this entirely in Sydney, Australia? Stephanie, why don't you add a map so we can show these guys where it is? We should have a clock so I could tell you it's 3 o'clock in the morning as well. Now this map here, let me give you some more space, is built with um, an external API that we make available to anyone. It's super easy, all you have to do is have your gadget, as it's called, stored state in the wave, and then we take care of syncing it for you. Now if you are confused by now, remember there's an hour and 20 minute long video on wave.google.com, <laughs> and that's wave. Now, wouldn't it be nice if you can take all of this collaborative power and apply it to something like, oh, constructing business processes, business processes inside an enterprise? Thanks. Alex. Thanks, Lars. So, business please. process management, effectively, as many of you will know, is uh, emphasizing end-to-end -end views within organizations or sometimes stretching various organizations. So if we look at the model here, we've actually built that gravity canvas to be hosted within a Google Wave. And what it effectively means is that the same collaboration features that you've just seen within the wave can be applied to that canvas. So we'll see different color shadings for people who have contributed to that video, and we can do the collaborative editing. So as you can see right now, it's, it's absolutely hands-free. I'm just watching how uh, Steph and Lars here complete the model uh, from a business perspective. What we're seeing here is a merger and acquisition scenario. It's effectively a banking process where uh, uh, IDs are checked, where um, uh, basically a mortgage processing takes place. And, and, and this company has merged with an insurance company and uh, for each mortgage that we're actually offering we would like to be in a position to offer a couple of insurance products to cross-sell. So, um, so, so as you can see we, we implemented exactly the same features in here. Um, now as, as Lars said, wouldn't it be nice if we had all these collaborative features? Um, now of course it doesn't only apply to designing these business processes. But in the end, we are got to be in a position to, to run them. So what we can do is we can download the model from, uh, from Gravity and export it into a, uh, a BPMN 2.0 XML to run then and to be executed within SAP NetWeaver's business process management solution. Now, once we have done that, we would also like to be in a position to share amongst the people who have constructed that process 
um, how it actually behaves in real life. And we build a second canvas down here which relies on business objects live enterprise. And I just have to kick it in. Uh, now what I'm doing is what I do is I uh, fire up a NetWeaver instance in the background. And now as we can see in the same wave where we have just started uh, uh, collaboratively developing this business process, we can have an analyst ga analysis gadget that shows us in real time um, how it behaves. And um, it's loading a bit longer than expected. So basically, and it's not constrained to business process management, you can think about all sorts of different collaborative SAP applications within that context. Thank you very much.